What used to make this city great was that it was run by bad men. Who understood that they were bad. I got a text one night. Um, I was in bed, asleep, and I forgot to turn off my ringer. I got a text saying, yo, it's your brother, let's grab a beer. <laughs> and I was like, who is this? And it was Tucker. So I already felt a, a nice connection <laughs> to start. You know, when you start working with somebody uh, as an, you know, act, with two actors, you're kind of really looking for somebody who can spar without, um, one, without hurting you, but two, who's not going to go uh, lightly. And Mark is that kind of an actor who kind of brings the best out of the people he works with. And, you know, Mark grew up in Newfoundland. And the first thing that Mark and I um, agreed upon, other than obviously his winning smile, uh, was that those are th these two communities have so much in common. Yeah. Uh, and so being from Boston, has been it's a super important for me. Yeah, and it's it's interesting too. Um, the Boston accent is such a thing. Like you know, everybody knows about it, talks about it. Can you do it? Can you not do it? People like it. I think there's something about it that's very pleasing to listen to. I think that's kind of a universal thing. I, people are attracted to it for some reason. Everybody's accent is different. It's like yeah. funny when people are like, you don't have an accent. It's like, well, actually, everybody does, like, to some degree. And it always has different affectations and stuff. So it's something to take into account. I think what has been fun for me to see explored in the show is the personal stories of some of the headlines that I had read. You can read certain things uh, in a newspaper or a history book, but to get to see them portrayed um, fictionally can offer up a lot of uh, hints and clues.